Mr. TapTap, and let's play Robin. Robin is a short slice of life game that was made to give some, invisibil some visibility to an invisible illness, chronic fatigue syndrome. What you decide to do in the three days is up to you, but know there is never such thing as a perfect ending. That is the description for this one. This is a free little, like I said, short little game about a serious issue. So all of your blood tests have come back. You really couldn't find anything? But why do I feel so tired all the time? Yeah, this hits some personal chords for me, actually. At least we've eliminated what it could be, I suppose. So there's three different endings to this. I'll, I'll go ahead and try to get all three. It's, it's very short. Maybe it's all in my head. Maybe I'm just lazy. Feeling defeated, Robin decides to spend a long weekend at home to try to recover some energy. This is her weekend. This is sort of a depressingly familiar game. So, um, yeah, let's, let's, let's pick up those clothes. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a nice little weekend. Um, we'll make something to eat. I'm busy. Why am I so busy? Why am I so busy? Uh, oh, is it? I guess you have to wait real time. Yeah, let's feed our birdie. There you go, little friend. Wait, Robin has a Robin? Isn't that like cannibalism? I mean, not, you know, I'm not eating it, I hope, but it, it's still weird. Uh, yeah, let's water the plants, sure. Keep them lively. Uh, I'm too tired. I guess we gotta go to bed. The foul smell of unwashed dishes keep you awake. You'll have to do them soon. You sighed. It's been a while since you had some fun navigating social media feel filthy. You're too tired to shower and it feels gross. You glance at your backlog of books. Someday you'll get around to reading them. You felt very guilty. You didn't do any work on your novel. You woke up feeling even more exhausted than usual. So, uh, like I said, this is, oh, because it just kind of forces you to do certain things. Like, cause it, I didn't, I didn't select the do the dishes thing. It just kind of did it. Uh, I guess I'll take a shower. But this is kind of, you know, it's the time scale is exaggerated, obviously, you know. You can do more than, like, three things in a day, but, um... It, it's kind of like a combination of stress and anxiety, and you just let things kind of pile up. Um... I will feed Robin. Don't want my little burb to die. Um... up them close. Uh, I find, I do find that keeping things neat really helps. One, I think the biggest thing like that can help something like this is there's this thing called like a productivity tool called, uh, all right, I gotta go to bed. Um, the five minute rule. Your stomach kept rumbling, kept you awake. Though you're exhausted, you had to make a sandwich in the night. You looked over your unwatered plants. You shouldn't forget to tend to them this weekend. He sighed. It's been a while since you did some fun navigating social media. He, she really likes that social media. She really likes to, you know, troll her favorite book writers. You glance upon your backlog of books. Someday you'll get around to reading them. You felt guilty. You didn't do work on it. was a tiring day still. And this is kind of how, you know, you, you let stuff pile up and, and then it gets harder to deal with it. And then you just, you end up spending more time worrying about not having dealt with the thing then you would have spent to do it so that's what the five minute rule is about like um um, um browse that's, she keeps talking about browsing the internet let's browse the internet um the whole point is if a task is going to take less than five minutes you just do it right now uh, i i i definitely do i guess it's time to go to bed i definitely let things pile up and like emails, I'll let an email sit in my inbox and it'll take like one minute to answer, but I'll just leave it there and I'll keep looking at it. And it's like, I spend more than one minute, you know, I spend more than the time it would take to reply, just looking at it and worrying about and stuff. And you, you got to kind of force yourself into the habit. You, you don't, um, uh, there's this thing I heard called, you know, um, you never depend on inspiration because, you know, between inspiration and, um, uh, what's what was it um like dedication not dedication um inspiration and um what's the word i'm looking for here 
Discipline. Discipline is what keeps you out of bed or gets you out of bed in the morning. You know, you don't inspire yourself out of bed. You got to you got to work on discipline. You can't depend on inspiration for stuff. You looked over your unwatered plants. They're barely hanging on. Robin chirps and disdain at you. You didn't tend to her. She sounds upset. The foul smell of unwashed dishes kept you awake. You'll have to do them soon. You feel filthy. You're too tired to shower and it feels gross. You glance upon your backlog of books. Someday I'll get in around to reading them. And just like that, the weekend's over. That's how it feels sometimes. Robin's feeling down. She spent the whole week on chores and boring things, and she still feels tired after everything. However, she's well prepared for the upcoming week of work. Alright. I guess that's the kind of good ending. Um, yeah, my advice, um, I really would recommend trying that, that five minute rule thing. Um, I also use inbox for my email inbox, like Google inbox. It has some really good features to help keep track of things and get things out of your mind. Like you can snooze emails. So you don't have to leave things unread and like wait on them. Um, well, let's, let's be productive all weekend. Um, yeah, let's read those books. That's something I actually have. I, I bought a bunch of um, Japanese art books and some manga and stuff. You know, I imported a bunch of stuff, and I, I still haven't gone through a bunch of them. I've got a big a big stack of them on my mantle. Uh, cliche as it is. Um, I guess I don't want to kill the burb. I'll feed the burb once. And... Um, Um, all right, I should eat, eat them foods. Um, but yeah, and, and cleanness definitely helps. I, I find it just helps keep my mind clear as well when the house is clear. Oh, too tired for anything, I guess. Um, yeah, the kind, the kind of the point is that you can't do everything in this game. Lift up your unwatered plants, foul snow, filthy. Dirty clothes are piling up. Good thing no one's visiting. I actually find that helpful to, um, the, the, my best motivation to pick up clothes and stuff, um, is having company over. So if you have friends that you can, like, invite over, like, invite people over to your place instead of going over to theirs or something, you know, for a change, and, um, yeah, let's, let's be super productive. Um, what was I saying? It just you know that that extra motivation you you'll find stuff that you wouldn't have picked up for yourself but you would pick up because you know somebody else is coming over so uh that can be a good motivator if it's an option your stomach grumbling kept you awake the exhausted you had to make a sandwich at night um i guess let's let's browse our inner tubes I think the ending just depends on what you focus on, basically. Like, how, how well you balance, maybe. Okay, we're going to be super productive. Um, and, and being productive is another thing. Like, uh, th these are pretty good choices of things that I feel affect, like, me personally. Not so much uh, feeding Parker isn't really a particularly difficult task. But, um... I guess they all take the same amount of time. I guess take one shower and read a book. Um, but yeah, that, that another thing that builds up stress. The, the the real thing is stress, at least in my experience. Like if you leave work, you know, undone, and you just keep thinking about it, it just kind of stresses you out more and more. And so that's why that's why the five minute rule helps. You know, just to get those silly little emails and you know simple tasks. You know, pick up that thing on the floor. Um, Tidy those books up a bit. You know, just all the simple things, it really adds up all. Oh. Same ending. Um, Alright. Um, Alright, well, I, I can definitely make it a train wreck, I guess. Let's, let's be a train wreck. Actually, well, I mean, we have to do, pick something productive to do. So, I wonder if I do one of everything, if that would work, but, um, hmm. let's just indulge ourselves the whole weekend, I guess. Nothing. 
Don't do any of those chores. Chores are lame. Chores are for stupid people that are dumb, and I hate them. But yeah, this is kind of a problem I have with my current job. Like, the, I, I don't really get much time to do anything at the end of the, um, at the work day too much. And, you know, weekend, I have to, well, I sort of have to do some stuff with, you know, YouTube and stuff. Um, yeah, let's read some books. Wait, I, I, did I already read the books? What can I do that's self-indulgent? I, I guess I don't want the burp to die. Um, I don't think it actually can die. Like, just three days, but, uh. What a needy bird. Um, you wake up feeling even more exhausted than usual. Let's just, let's just eat. Let's just be a slob, I guess. I, I don't know exactly how you get the three endings, but I do want to get them. Oh, this game does have a Mac version too, um, apparently. Um... Oh, I'll browse the internet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a lazy weekend. Sometimes, sometimes that's kind of what you want. But there's probably little bits and bits and things that you can, you know, little habits you can force yourself. You know, a habit. You, you gotta kind of beat habits into yourself. Wait, let's go go to bed. I've heard that you need like, there's a tiring day still. I've heard you need to do something like like 50 or 100 times or something before it can become a habit really. You know, you really have to freaking work at it. And um my opinion is it's a lot easier to stop doing something than to you know, pick up a new habit. Um that's kind of why I decided to quit caffeine first. It's it, it's been easier and then tending to some other stuff. But uh there's definitely stuff you can do. Do what can I too tired for that. All right. Do we get the bad ending? Just like that, the weekend's over. Robin has got through the weekend, but barely. Her plants are dying, she hasn't eaten properly, and the place is a mess. She realizes she'll be paying for mistakes the coming work week. She dreads going to work the next day. Hmm. Let's try... I'm not sure exactly what the third ending... I I'm guessing it's a good one? We spent all on chores and all on... I guess let's just try to make sure we do one of everything. Let's feed the burb. Clean up the room. Well, let's eat on day one and then we don't want to stay up because of the stupid dish smell. We'll clean up the crap later, right? And we'll take a shower. We'll feel less gross, and everything will be alright. I do find that I don't really feel awake until I take my shower. I don't know how people, like, some people, like, I guess it's more of a blue-collar thing, but some people, you know, they shower before bed, like, after work or whatever. It's like, I, I, I could, even when my hair is super short, it's usually my hair that bugs me. It just feels gross. Even when it's, like, super short, it just bugs me. Um, let's, be, let's be a bit productive today. Let's pick up some clothes, let's read some of them books, and why, why are we doing work on the week? I guess it's, you know, it's hobby stuff. I, I guess I can't complain. I got tons of hobby work. That's what, I'm kind of careful to not let any of my hobbies take up too much of my time. That's kind of why I've previous, I've quit live streaming in the past and sort of, hmm. I browse the internet. I, I, I better browse the internet at least once. Did I feed Robin? Is he, um, I guess I'll eat twice. Wait, have I showered? I forget all of exactly what I've done. I, I think I've been fairly even handed with my tasks. Too tired. Too tired. Crap. Let's see if we get the third ending. I'm just feeling down. She's about the whole week on chores and boring things. Oh, I'm just tired. How do I get the better ending then? Um, let me see if there's any hints in the comments here. I really do 
I think this really captures the moment really well, and uh, it's nice and simple. I think games like this are a really good way to show people, like, uh, um, you know, to be sort of, you know, help people understand just a little bit of what it's like, you know, to be in somebody else's shoes. Um, th there's been some backlash against, you know, empathy games, but, uh, spend all the week doing chores. Okay, I'm gonna spend more time on me then. I'm gonna try to balance the two, I guess. Doing the dishes every day, I gotta say, as as somebody that uh, is in a pretty similar position to Robin here, uh, doing the dishes every day is pretty extravagant, uh, unless she like eats a lot. I guess she's got a tiny sink. I guess I guess if I didn't have a dishwasher, I might be a little tempted. Like, uh, I think if I didn't have a dishwasher, I'd jump out of a ten-story window. Um, but, um, did I forget to eat? I think I did. Um, yeah, if I don't do the dishes, it's just going to force me to do it tomorrow, so I guess you always got to do that. But, um, yeah, it sort of shows you that everything you leave undone, it's going to bother you. There's no necessarily winning situation. Um... Plants. Just be a, a, a teeny bit, a teeny bit productive, right? And, and do a little bit of work. And enjoy myself, right? I think, I think that was reasonably balanced, right? Hmm. Just like that, the weekend's over. Why do I keep getting the same one? Okay, hold up. Um, I wanna, I'm gonna see if I can figure out what I'm missing here. Alright, I think I got it. Let's go through here. Alright, come on. Oh, alright. Come on. And the lazy thing, that's definitely... We get beat into, like... There's a lot of things where, you know, anything, men you know, mental, we're, society's pretty awful regarding mental illness. Everything, everything is your fault, and, you know, we make people feel afraid to, like, get help, and it's really disgusting. Like, I've, I've seen many times the, you know, the sentiment that, oh, I I'm not gonna take pills, because, you know, I, I don't wanna, you know, that makes me weak and stuff. It's like, that's, no, that that's stupid. Um... Everybody needs help, not necessarily the same, um, the same help. But you know, if your car broke down, you wouldn't be like, ah, nah, I don't need, I don't need. Let's browse the internet, I guess. Yeah, I don't need help. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm independent. I'm just gonna drive this car until it crashes and kills me. You know, uh, you know, I don't want to be a baby and you know take some, you know, some, some car crutches that's all mechanics are it's car crutches you don't want that uh, you know we all oh, right the <laughs> really picky about that washing them dishes i guess let's do some work i i feel like i think you need to balance the pl business and the pleasure i guess um so i think I guess we should eat too. Um, but anyway, nobody's. Um, what else should I do here? I guess I should clean out my dishes too. Because it'll make me do that tomorrow anyway. Um, but yeah, sometimes you just need help. And. You know, there's nothing shameful about, you know, whether it's medication or therapy or just talking to a friend. You know, there's nothing shameful about needing help. Everybody needs help. If you got shot, you wouldn't be like, oh, I, I don't need help. I'm, I'm a strong person. I, I don't I don't need to worry about this. I'm just going to, you know, I want to be strong myself, you know. Um, do I want to take a sh Have I taken a shower? I forget if I've taken a shower. 
I, I'll take a shower. I'm gonna eat. I guess uh, I guess I'll, I'll I'll work on that novel that that I've been writing. How's that novel you've been working on? And tidy that up. Come on. Yeah, we're just kind of awful in how we treat mental illness. We don't. I really think that psychology should be taught in like high school level like there's so much stuff that we could be teaching high school kids it's like actually remotely useful the same f what why why is it always why is it always that oh crap i accidentally quit okay hold up okay i don't i don't really exactly know how i got this but this is the third ending uh, Robin has managed to get through the weekend without too much strain and is happy with her productivity she has hope for a week of work ahead she might just be able to manage. I just, I did work, food, books, and internet on the first day. Then I did work, Robin, and food on the second day. And then I did food, work, books, and then the Robin again on the third day. Um, I, I could swear that's like almost exactly what I did my, the last time I tried. I, I don't really get, I don't really get this one. But I finally got it, so. So that is Robin. Um... Uh, let's take a look at this game. Let's take a look at the about and the credits here. This game is based on the Spoon Theory by Christine Miserandino. I'm not familiar with that actually. If you have any related health concerns, please see a doctor. Credits: Isabella Del Tor, Jose Fernando Garcia, Papi Durad, Annalise Bivan. Not sure who entirely did what here, honestly. Um, thanks to Safford Twine Game Bloom for inspiration. Special thanks to Mike and Lucy. Music used is What True Self Feels Bogus. Let's watch Jason X. It's a hell of a title by Chris Zabriskie. That certainly seems, seems like something that a Zabriskie would write. So that is Robin. That was quite lovely.